Late, late, late last night, it happened again. I was on my Instagram and I had to click away so fast because Star Steam put in their story lots of fun, fun information. Like there's not just one thing they released today. They released a couple of information. So let's just, without further ado, go ahead and check it out. I'm very excited. I think first things first, we might cover what they posted on Instagram. I'm actually not sure if they posted about it in the other thing. Okay, but here I Oh my gosh, rumor has it, a wild herd of Welsh ponies is soon about to roam around South Hoof looking more gracious than ever. They've got a brand new look and are still as tenacious and ready to gallop over any terrain. All they need is a friend to travel with who can keep up with their stamina. Keep an eye open on the fields on February 16th. Wait, I feel like something's happening on the 16th. Oh my gosh, wait, my sister's gonna be here from the 14th to the 18th, I think. So unfortunately, I think I might be late to this update because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to film when she is here but they're going to be 800 star coins and they're obviously going to be at south hoof which is very exciting already from this image we can see that they have a braided tail as one of their hairstyles i suppose this is adorable honestly i can't comment too much on it because it is a very awkward angle like i wouldn't recommend judging a horse on its rear i'm gonna be honest and i'm gonna go ahead and say it like i'm gonna say Welsh ponies right now are not my favorite horse in Star Stable for some reason. For the longest time, I actually regretted buying the Welsh pony that I bought. But honestly, I don't think I regret it anymore. I don't know. I go through chopping changes about whether I like the Welsh ponies or not. But um, yeah, so it's very exciting to see uh, like number one, a pony get an update. But number two, the Welsh ponies because like they're not my most favorite horse. Although like whenever I say that, I'm like, hang on a second. I don't actually dislike the Welsh ponies. Like I I'd ride my Welsh pony. Anyways, so that's the first bit of information, which honestly is kind of meh compared to something new that we have, which is, can I click it from here? Yes, I can. We have monthly blog posts, which I absolutely love this idea. We have Star Stable January blog, Marley's Farm Tech and character update. I only just reacted to the previous character thing, which granted did come out at the start of December, but but yeah, unfortunately, I'm not doing face cam today. I actually don't know if you guys like face cam or not, but like I was kind of too lazy to get ready for a face cam like this early in the morning. <laughs> but anyways, we have January blog, which I'm very excited to read. Um, wait, is that a Connemara or does that look like a Welsh pony? I'm so confused. Anyways, uh, introducing our new monthly game blog featuring behind the scenes updates. I am a sucker for anything behind the scenes, behind the scenes of film. Honestly, I can finish watching a film or like a sh uh, like TV show and I will instantly go to see if they have behind the scenes stuff. Uh, that just comes with like loving film and TV. Insights and upcoming additions to your favorite horse game, Star Stable Online. That was kind of like not passive aggressive. I feel like there's a different word for it, but they're like, Star Stable is your favorite game, okay? your favorite game star stable anyways you know what i mean you know what i mean okay straight from the amazing team behind the magic so like okay wait let me uh insights okay the reason sorry i have to collect myself i did like only wake up like my brain's not functioning yet i just like the idea of having monthly game blogs because it keeps like people in the loop in the community like it'll keep us in the loop to see what they've been working on and things like that and whether you know i feel ugh, let's just read it and i might comment on it afterwards if I can remember, I might not remember. This month, Oscar Carlson, art director, I hope I said that right, will share some of the work behind the update of Marley's Farm. I love that. Jane Skullman, our amazing executive producer, will walk you through the latest tech improvements, followed by Marie, is it Cecil? <laughs> Jack? I don't, okay, producer and her exciting new update on the new player character project, Marley's Farm. As the game grows, we wish to provide you with an immersive world that you can, that you want to spend time in and keep coming back to by raising the quality of our graphical assets, how they are implemented and how the engine uses them to improve optimization. Or within our art style, we aim to enhance your experience while you're in the game. And I completely like agree with wanting to keep coming back and things like that because with the updated areas, it makes me feel so much more inspired for more creative projects. And if you follow me on Instagram, I posted like not a ton last night on Instagram, but last night, like I literally 
literally had the best brainstorming session that I could have had for this time of year. Except the thing is, I've just come up with like three ideas for massive projects. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyways, it is not just a matter of visual improvement, but also how the game runs on your computer or device. When we're working on revamping an existing area, we also put a lot of thought into creating a better experience with less frustration when navigating the world and going from one place to another. Hmm. If that means like layout of the area, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. They did not make Silverglade Village easier to navigate. They made it very hard for me to navigate. I'm <laughs> gonna be honest. Maybe I just haven't played with it enough, but I get so lost and disoriented in there. For example, those of you who've been playing for a while might recall a time when you were not allowed to jump with your horse when you were inside the odd walls of Silverglade. With those walls in place, it meant there were only a few points you were actually able to exit the village. During the previous year, the team has done a great deal of work on Silverglade Village and Steve's farm with the surrounding area. Still, one small location remained in order to wrap up the central part of Silverglade, Marley's farm. One big technical change in the engine that allowed us to deliver th though these improvements to you is gradient maps. Gradient maps allow us to create more variations of the same texture without adding more strain on your device. Oh my gosh, that is so fun to know. I th did that sound sarcastic? I am genuinely, I love hearing about behind the scenes of game design. It is so over my head that I love reading about it. One of our artists created an image to show what difference it makes. Without gradient maps, we needed to have 74 textures loaded into memory to achieve the amount of variation we have in Silverglade. But with gradient maps, we only load 15 textures and then create the colors of the engine itself instead of an external program like Photoshop. Wow, okay. I want to know, do you guys who play on a laggy computer, did you feel a difference in lag or not really? It might be hard to tell because there was like a ton of people at Silverglade. So you're fighting internet lag and your computer lag maybe. Personally, I don't think I felt a difference, but I just have um, a computer which doesn't lag anyways. Uh, but I'd really be interested to know if people on laggy computers felt a difference or anything. That is really interesting. I wonder if this restricts them in any way. It's like, obviously it sounds like it actually opens up a lot of avenues but at the same time i'd be super interested to know if this has restricted anything i don't know the gradient map is something we have been able to use while working with assets in the environment but the development of the technique has room for improvement with potentially more use cases in the future another of these challenges we face when working with an existing location in the world is the fact that we can't just move everything around as we would like we always need to make sure that our pre-existing content continues to work for you when doing a big reverb as for silverglade village or steve's farm it's a big undertaking for the content of the qa team to make sure the new content works with old content so this is talking about questions and stuff um which means digging through 10 years of previous content and times very very true like the character update right now that they have to go through 10 years of animations and quests and everything like this is why it's taking a long time i don't know if you guys can wrap your head around that Oh my gosh, anyways. Otherwise, we would have things floating in the air or quest givers hidden inside of houses, which sometimes will sneak by us, so thank you for the reports. Exactly, 10 years of content. Sometimes a slight side quest might be slipped up a little bit, so just make sure you report it and give the time, give the team some time to fix it before getting too mad on the internet. Some people get super angry when there's a little bug which they've reported and it's not fixed in five minutes, and it's like, well guys, okay, I don't know if you know this, but time zones exist, and it's currently midnight. <laughs> in Sweden. Anyways, oh my gosh. For Marley's farm, we took the opportunity to re remove some of the western theme that was there and instead we tried to align what you see to the man living there. In this case, Marley and he likes potatoes. Um, at first when I read that, I was like, okay, that makes me sad because I felt like it was kind of like a western area, but I like, it is true that I guess Marley isn't a western rider he's just a potato farmer and he likes barrel racing so i like the addition of potatoes um i really like the potatoes look nice i like it creating a tech technical foundation for the future oh my gosh i should have brought a water bottle with me besides the revamp of marley's farm we also wanted to share some improvements we do to our game tech some of the major updates last year included moving from 32 bit support to 64 bits <gasps> that's incredible oh my gosh okay that's really good Updi updating to version 17 of our programming language c++ hey i know some c++ because i did digital solutions wow okay and porting out 
editor to a more modern UI and software framework named Qt. In-house we call it the Qt editor and it will allow our users, artists and game designers to, oh my gosh, <laughs> to work more efficiently. That's amazing, that's amazing, I love that. I feel like, wait, weren't people getting mad at Star Stable for using old software? I feel like there's um one of the game Oh gosh, I don't know what her technical uh, role like name is, but she's basically on the Star Stable team. It's Gaming with Esme on Instagram. And she spoke about some rumors that were going around about the management of Star Stable. And she's like, um, from an insider's perspective, I can't explain it. I can't explain it in this one. But um, sometimes people hear a rumor and it gets kind of out of hand in the Star Stable community. Anyways, um, I love to see that. Love to see that. That might not it might not make sense to a lot of people but it's things like that which is important to create in a game it's kind of like me on youtube i do a lot of behind the scenes work which honestly you guys wouldn't even realize that i have to do and uh, it actually makes or breaks my youtube channel just like all this technical stuff which you're like why does that even matter it literally makes or breaks the game on the graphical side we implemented simply going hey i noticed that i was going to comment on it but i was too lazy to do the like i did research and i was like you know what i don't have time to make a video on this right now so i never ended up making a video on simply gone um, a third party software that helps us to optimize the game content. We added a gradient map shader that we used in revamping Marley's Farm in Silverglade as explained above. And we also revamped the water shader. I love the water shader. It looks amazing. Beyond that, we can now give you an even better game with these improvements. Simply Gone is also crucial for the performance of the game, minimizing lag and game crashes due to player devices running out of memory. <laughs> you don't I don't have to think about memory thankfully in Star Stable. I have got too much memory for Star Stable. Sometimes you guys are like what computer do you use? You use a way too powerful computer if you're just looking for something to play Star Stable on. Like I'm sorry, I can't help you with that department. I built this for video editing and you need a lot of memory for video editing. In fact, optimization of memory is something we always have an extra eye on and continue to improve since this is one of the main reasons why the game sometimes crashes for you. Which which is very true um when i was looking to buy one of my first laptops i did look at memory because this was like way back in the day this was literally like eight years ago and i had a laptop which i think had about two gigabytes of memory bad i then bought a laptop which had four gigabytes of memory which is honestly also really bad like honestly eight gigabytes of memory is probably an average nowadays i think most laptops would have eight gigabytes of memory but yeah so one of the first major improvements we're doing for 2022 is adding more game databases in europe that's interesting. The reason for doing this challenging improvement is to give you a more stable player experience with less lag. Instead of having only one game database in Europe, we will now have more than 10. Dang, that's an improvement, which basically means we can handle more players online at the same time and also more activity from each server without you experiencing some disturbances when you play. I wonder how many game databases they have around the world. Like, do they have one for Asia or maybe they have one in Australia, one in somewhere else? I'd be interested to know. This will also allow us to add more platforms in the future and one of these platforms is mobile. Yay! Little smiley face. Oh my gosh, we love that. So rolling out some more database game databases beginning with Denmark is a vital step to be able to offer you to play Star Stable Mobile in Europe. iOS only for now, but with our eyes set on Android in the future, which I've done plenty of videos on Star Stable Mobile. Um, I live in Australia, so I've been able to play the Star Stable Mobile for over a year now. So I have a couple of videos on the mobile if you wanted to check them out, but that's very very good. I think um, if you guys follow them on Twitter, if you follow them on Twitter, then they come out with things like this to get Star Stable ready for mobile in Europe. Servers in blah, going offline for a couple of hours. So if you guys have Twitter, this is a very good place to go. You don't even need to have Twitter to just jump over to the internet and Google them on Twitter to just see what's going on. Um, you don't even need to be logged in or anything. Continuing on, where was I up to? Uh, in order to handle some of these new game databases, we also rewrote and modernized some of the backend services related to your character. When these backend services were released, we had and are still experiencing some hiccups and a lot of you ex have experienced the weird message to create a character when you already had one. We are super sorry for this. We didn't mean to scare or annoy you. The team is working incredibly hard and in shifts in order to fix this hiccup. The majority of the issues are gone and we will of course continue to work on it until the it is solved completely very very true very very nice love to hear it personally i haven't experienced any of these problems i think it was really big in america probably because america i suppose is where a lot of the changes are happening and in europe as well i guess um 
gosh i was gonna say something eh no i don't think i can remember the only time i've received that message was that was weird was when i was trying to log into like my literal one of my my first account from 2012. all of my accounts from 2012 seem to just be broken and it's so sad because like i literally have lost them and it makes me so sad player character update oh my gosh i'm already looking at the image but i'm gonna try not to uh we really want to keep all of you up to date about our progress on the new player character so from now on we'll post updates about it every month oh my gosh <laughs> we really okay that means every month i have to do a blog video and also a like coming up in your Vic video. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Happened. So from blah, 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 we're really excited by the progress we've made so far and can't wait to show you more about it. As said previously, the research phase was longer and more complicated than planned. We must deal with 10 years of content to build a better character with more options while keeping game performance impact as low as possible. Here are some technical challenges we have now overcome. Making different body shapes fit on every horse, adapting clothes to body shapes, and improving the render on skin color. Updating is often trickier than creating a new, which gives us an, an excellent opportunity to learn something new. Stay positive, right? The approach we are taking in designing this new character will allow us to update it more easily from a technical point of view. Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome, we love to hear it. We aren't just planning to release it, we're crafting it so that more options and features can potentially be implemented in the future. Ooh, that, sound, that sounds interesting. Also to answer some of your worries, no pay transition will be required to update the character. Obviously that would be dumb. Who said that? Oh my gosh. It will be applied to new and old players. That would be so dumb. Oh my gosh. Who was worried? Oh wait, I didn't see anyone worry about that. That makes, that makes me laugh. Besides, we're doing our best to minimize the uh, impact on previous purchases such as hairstyles and close we're happy to share with you another uh work in progress picture it's far from final and numerous changes may happen repeat that again repeat that again it's far from final and numerous changes may happen don't judge it too hard stay tuned for next month's blog when you learn more about the work that goes into planning and writing a new quest Ooh, we love to see it followed of course by more news on the updated player character project let us know if there is any topics you'd like us to cover in the future we can't wait to share more with you love that um let's look at this oh my gosh i don't know what i it looks good that's really all i can say test body with clothes test oh very interesting it's so oh my gosh it doesn't it looks like star stable but it doesn't look like star stable like even the clothes look different wow okay do you remember that time when they when they um oh we used to have nail polish on the fingerless gloves and they took it away and they were like we're updating it and like years down the line there's still nothing anyways that just reminded me of that because i thought i saw nail polish but i don't think i can um anyways things that we that we'd like topics we'd like to cover in the future i can't think of anything for that um anyways that was the game blog for january let me know what you guys are thinking are you guys excited for the welsh pony update of course not every single horse is meant for everyone so if you don't like the welsh ponies that's okay there's gonna be another horse this year which hopefully you do like star city was trying their best molly's farm update do you guys like hearing the technical stuff i like hearing the technical technical stuff it's very fun but uh character update as well it's all all happening is all happening here in star stables so yeah anyways i don't have much else to say i'll see you guys tonight for another video actually when is this video coming out maybe i'll see you in a couple of hours i'm not sure but yeah i hope you guys are having an awesome day i've had an awesome day and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you all so much for watching see you later bye